Oh, no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Soldier, which way to your commanding officer? Straight ahead and around the corner, past the first barricade. Saw bigger ones on Earth. A whole lot of them. Got it. Try them again.
Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go!
apparent from this panel. James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. 
Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! <laughs> General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Hey, that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day.
think we're done here. Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? 
If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. You okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. And himself. Okay, good luck. in that crash 50 75 not sure sounds right hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down not to mention the men serving on her yeah yeah we should go they said the primark was headed south that was a little closer than i'd like i'll say Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches.
General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A uh, commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Vodorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I 
I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then, you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arcturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly. Hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. 
And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? Liara appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away. Reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances, Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of... 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. <laughs>